Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Or wherever you are. This is your brother Bema Morfore, alias LAC. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm here to talk to you this morning, not to preach to you. I'm not here to preach, but I'm here to talk to you. Take your Bible with me to your city room, dining rooms, or prayer rooms. Let's talk about God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. The scripture reading this morning is coming from the book of Mark 8, 36. Mark 8, 36 says, What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? What shall it profit you if he gain the whole world and lose your soul? In this world, we have temporary things, not permanent. In this world, you can get the beautiful woman in the world. Everybody is looking for beautiful women, handsome men. What should that profit you? So many people want to drive the best car. So many people want to be the best house. And so many people want to live the best life. It's the best food. We are the best residents. My question, what shall it profit you if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Let's talk about our brothers called Job. Let's talk about Job. Can you turn your Bible with me in Job 1 verse 18? Job 1 verse 18. He said, while he was still speaking, he said, another messenger came and said, your sons and daughters we are fasting and drinking wines as your elder's brother's house. He said, when suddenly a mighty wind swept in and collapsed on them. He said, on them, he said, and they are dead. He said, and I am the only one who has escaped. To tell you. At this time, Job got up and took his robes and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground in worship and said, Naked I came from my mother's rooms, and naked I will return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Brothers in Christ, you came from your mother's room naked. I want to rest assure you that you will return back naked. From ashes to ashes, from dust to dust. You are today, you are driving people to the cemeteries. Tomorrow, people will do the same thing to you. Today, you are reading obituary announcement for people. Tomorrow, people will do the same thing for you. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world lose his souls? There are things that money cannot buy. Some people might say money stop nonsense. Money stop nonsense. But your money will never stop for you not to die. You can bribe a judge, you can bribe a lawyer. You can bribe for you to travel. You can bribe people to vote for you. But you can't bribe God for you to go heaven. You can't bribe God for heaven gate to open for you. It means your money cannot buy heavens. There are things money cannot buy. Money cannot buy heavens. Money cannot buy lives. There are so many rich people, their money cannot save them from death. What shall it profit you if you gain the whole world, lose your souls? So many ladies say, I'm the best, I'm, the, I'm, I'm one of the, the most beautiful women in the world. Yes, you are beautiful for now. 
If you die today, you are no more beautiful. Have you ever seen the beautiful ghost in the world? If I ask you now, you can tell me the beautiful, you say, yes, my wife is beautiful. But if your wife died now, she's no more beautiful. Now, if I ask some people to tell me who is the richest man in the world, so many people say the owner of Amazon's brigade. They are not the richest man. The richest man in the world is God. Because God is the one that created the heaven and earth. Everything in this world is, belongs to God. Because God is rich on earth, he's rich in heaven. He creates everything. He's the creator. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his souls? So many people right now budget to be the best house. I want to be the best house. Have you ever budget to be your grave? We are they going to put you to rest? Have you ever budget for that? So many people want to buy the luxurious cars. Want to buy food dressings. So many things you want to buy. There are so many things in your head you want to buy. Please. Can you, can you please go and buy your coffin because you are dust, you are ashes to ashes. I have the best car. I have the best mansions. I have the best dressing. I know you have the best dressings. But try to have the best coffin again. The best caskets in the world. Because you are going to die one day. You are going to leave all those things in the world. What shall I profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his souls? Nothing. Nothing will profit you. Time will come, your money will not save you. You can serve two people together. You can serve God and the devil. You will love the one and hate the other ones. And the Bible says if you become stubborn, you will crush. You will never recover. Don't allow yourself to be crushed. Come to God. You will recover. The day the son's man will come with the thrones in his hands to separate the goats among the sheep. The righteous and the unrighteous. He will say to this one, get out in front of me. I don't know you. He said, Master, how come she don't know me? He said, the time I was in prison, have you ever visited me? The time I was sick, you never look after me. I was hungry, you never feed me. He said, Master, when was that? He said, the people, the orphans, the poor, the least privileged, the mad people, you are helping, you are ignoring, you are rejecting. I was one of them. So many pastors right now in the world, Brad, I'm the best pastor, I'm the richest pastor. I have mansions, I have houses. My question for you, are you doing the work of Christ? Because so many people are in the world suffering. There are mad people all over the world suffering. There are poor people. There are youth suffering for job. They are least privileged. There are people who are going through trials. There are people who don't have food to eat. Then you are around bragging you have the best jet. You have the best house. I'm the richest man. What have you done for people in society? What have you done for people in society, in communities, in the environment, in nations? 
Your money, time will come. Your money will not save you. Time will come. Your money will not set you free. So many people bribe for them to make it up. For them to get powers. So many people bribe for promotions, for connections. Some bribe to be president is good. Some spend money to rule the nations. But my brothers, my question for you, your money cannot bribe God for you to go heaven. Your money cannot bribe God to take you heaven. God is the richest man all over the world. Your money can bribe people today to vote for you. But your money cannot bribe God for you to go heaven. Your money cannot bribe God to give you spare life. There are things your money cannot buy. Your money cannot buy life. Your money cannot buy heavens. Your money cannot buy mercy. Brethren in Christ, Christian brothers, friends. I know so many people wish to celebrate. Some people pray for bad days. I'm waiting. So many people wait to celebrate. They wait to celebrate bad days. They wait to celebrate Valentine's Day. They wait to celebrate Christmas Day, um, 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 New Year's Day. They wait to celebrate Mother's Day, Father's Day. Women's Day. These are the days they are thinking about. Have you ever think about Judgment Day? Have you ever think about Judgment Day? If no, please go and think about Judgment Day. Because everybody you're going to be judged by God, not man. So the Bible says, Matthew 7, verse 1, do not judge others so your Father in heaven will not judge you. Because the Father in heaven is the one going to judge everybody in the world. You are not perfect. Stop judging people. Stop talking about people. Remember the woman catch in adultery. They brought her to Jesus. Jesus can we stone those women to death. The same people that was, the same people that want to stone those women to death, they are sinners. These people are even committing sin more than the woman, but they want to stone her to death. Jesus said, "If you know you are not a sinner, stone her to death." Everybody leave the place. Everybody left. The Jesus told the woman, "He said, neither did I condemn you. Go and sin no more." My brothers and sisters, the God you are serving is a God of second chance. He will not give you another chance. Repent now. Come to Him. Don't allow yourself to profit this war and lose your soul. God love you. There are things that people don't know about. There are things that you don't know about. Number one. Every story building, there must be a pillar to support the foundation not to collapse. To support the building not to collapse. Who is that scientist that knows the place that the pillar that supports heaven located? Who is that scientist that knows we are the pillar that supports heaven located. Who is that man? Who is that woman? Nobody knows. Only God knows. We are the pillar that supports heaven located. Who is that he addresser? That Baba can tell me the exact numbers of hair on your head. Nobody knows the exact numbers of hair on your head. No Baba can tell me that. No he addresser. Only God knows. So who is that man 
know the date, the hours, the moment, the raptures will take place. Nobody knows the date, the times, the hours, the moment, the rapture will take place. Only God knows. So who is that man? Know the times, the hours, the moment he or she will die. Who is that man? Know the time, the hour, the moment he or she will die. Nobody know the time he will die. Only God know. Only God know the hours, the moment you will die. So what are you waiting for? Why are you promising God? God, when I'm 50 years, I will worship you. God, when I'm 60 years, I will worship you. God, when I'm 40 years, I will marry and worship you. I will give my life to you. Why are you wasting your time? Give your life to Christ. Because you don't know the time you will die. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his souls? There are things that people budget for. Some budget for marriage. Some budget for Christmas, holidays. Some budget for birthdays. Some budget to buy food. Some budget to pay bills, mortgage. Have you ever budget for your casket? So many people want to be the best house. Have you ever planned to be the best? Have you ever planned to be the best cemetery? You are the will lay you to rest. I call by the name of Bema Murphy. God bless you all. Thank you. Message for me. World boss. Follow me at LA Chocolates. My Facebook name is LA Chocolates. I love your Sunday message.